Kim isolated, figures show China heeding Trump's demands over North Korea sanctions. Tensions have flared anew over North Korea's ongoing nuclear and missile programs, pursued in defiance of years of UN resolutions. Last week, the UN Security Council imposed new caps on trade with North Korea, including limiting oil product shipments to just 500,000 barrels a year. Beijing also imported no iron ore, coal or lead from North Korea in November, the second full month of the latest trade sanctions imposed by UN. China, the main source of North Korea's fuel, did not export any gasoline, jet fuel, diesel or fuel oil to its isolated neighbor last month, data from the General Administration of Customs showed on Tuesday. November was the second straight month China exported no diesel or gasoline to North Korea. The last time China's jet fuel shipments to Pyongyang were at zero was in February 2015. Kai Jian, an expert on North Korea at Fudan University in Shanghai, said, this is a natural outcome of the tightening of the various sanctions against North Korea. The tightening reflects China's stance, he said. The stats follow Donald Trump as a visit to Asia at the start of November, which included talks with President Eleven Jinping over the North Korea crisis. Since June, state-run China National Petroleum Corporation CNPC, has suspended sales of gasoline and diesel to North Korea, concerned that it would not get paid for its goods. Beijing's move to turn off the taps completely is rare. In March 2003, China suspended oil supplies to North Korea for three days after Pyongyang fired a missile into waters between the Korean Peninsula and Japan. It is unknown if China still sells crude oil to Pyongyang. Beijing has not disclosed its crude exports to North Korea for several years. Industry sources say China still supplies about 520,000 tons, or 3.8 million barrels, of crude a year to North Korea via an aging pipeline. That is a little more than 10,000 barrels a day, and worth about $200 million a year at current prices. North Korea also sources some of its oil from Russia. Chinese exports of corn to North Korea in November also slumped, down 82% from a year earlier to 100 tons, the lowest since January. Exports of rice plunged 64% to 672 tons, the lowest since March. Trade between North Korea and China has slowed through the year, particularly after China banned cold purchases in February. In November, China's trade with North Korea totaled $388 million, one of the lowest monthly volumes this year. China has renewed its call on all countries to make constructive efforts to ease tensions on the Korean Peninsula, urging the use of peaceful means to resolve issues. But tensions flared again after North Korea on November 29 said it had tested a new intercontinental ballistic missile that put the U.S. mainland within range of its nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, Chinese exports of liquefied petroleum gas to North Korea, used for cooking, rose 58% in November from a year earlier to 99 tons. Exports of ethanol, which can be turned 